Hey everyone, welcome to Isle of Arrows. It's as if Dwarf Romantic and Rogue Tower had a baby, and it's a ton of fun. The goal of this game is to protect your little yellow gem over here from 40 waves of enemies using the cards you're given each round. There are defensive towers, paths, and a random assortment of buildings that you can use to expand your island and make your defenses stronger. It's much easier just to show you how it works, so if you like the video, subscribe and say hi over on Twitch where this was recorded live. Okay, so we have a archer tower here that we want to snake around. This can go here and start the wave. A flag to open up a little bit more space sounds wonderful, but it only sounds wonderful when I place it right. Let me think. It actually could be placed here just to give me some room. And then we start the wave. Thank you. Oh, prediction. Good idea. Do we beat wave 20? Randomly extend the island. I'm down to randomly extend island. Nice. It gave us a little bit more space. Another archer tower with a little bit of water is totally fine with me. Put this guy here. And we'll start the next wave. Yo, Plinkett, how's it going? Garden. Garden gives us one gold to place down. I mean, that's free. We can just put it down, like, in a pretty bad spot. And it's all good. Like, right here. You believe put half your points? A 20, I'm not too worried about. I think it's very, very possible. Okay, this guy, the ice tower to slow down in the path that we don't have yet, but will have soon. We will have it soon. Thank you. A gunsmith has bombs for sale. One bomb for two gold. Hell yeah. I'll buy a bunch. Path here goes crazy. I can use it to rip around. Place. Eight gold. Okay, you know what? I'll do it, and I'll get more room. Place this guy here. Reinforced path. Can be placed outside the aisle without using bridges. That seems really good. But not good enough for me to take right now. Start this wave. He's going to hit me. That's okay. We get another life back at wave 10. Remember, Legacy has a different... Oh, what? It hits only... Oh, that is cringe. Okay. No way, this guy's gonna hit me too. Oh my god. I need to spend on pathing. Let's see. I mean, if it goes this way, it's probably ideal. Yeah, like up here. That way, Legacy is hitting the whole vertical. But then... Is that enough snaking? That is enough snaking, yeah. Is it? Is this enough snaking? I mean, ideally, it goes right here. And it feeds down again. But that will require a lot of stuff. I guess this is better. Another archery tower. I'll place him here. A vault. Gain eight if this is destroyed. Ooh. A vault to go... Eight gold to destroy this? Sure, I'll place it here. Give me this path just so I can get some room and the run. Place it somewhere easy to wreck with Cory. Oh, yeah, right here. And start this wave. Okay. Uh, two bridges. Or I'm down for two bridges early on. 
Yeah, give me two bridges. This path. Ooh, interesting. I can snake it back this way. Then we get still maximum value with the legacy tower. And we can bring it back home. Yeah, place this. Start the next wave. Nice. Pointy flag. We definitely want to place this. This guy goes here. No brainer. Otherwise, it, I mean, here would be better, but I can't because it's, it's not attached. Oh, I could place it here, though, for one bridge. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do I place it here? Placement not allowed. No. No, definitely here. Opens up a lot more of my realm. Start the next wave. We need to generate some income. We need some fishing villages. Flag materials for four. Path or path. I don't really have that much money for the black market. But materials are so valuable. I know. We're so poor. We're so poor, chat. This path is actually pretty good, too. Like, both these paths are good. Okay, I'm buying these pads, actually. Because I can buy one here, buy this path, and rip it around this way again. And then continue. Arrow tower. It's got to go here, right? Actually, it could go here. Destroy a flag with a bomb. Let me think. That's a lot of water now. Workshop. When adjacent to two, gain a path tile of your choice. Nice. Workshop goes... I mean, I don't want to put workshop here, but it's probably going to go there. Holy smokes. Workshop has to go here. And then we need a path that swings out, which is probably this one. Just to open this back up. That's a high value target spot here. Imagine we put something that hits all sides here. Holy shit. Wait, spike trap? On all adjacent paths, only one trap can be active per path. <gasps> that next turn goes crazy here. We get spike, spike, and spike. Oh, please kill that guy. Please kill him. Thank you. Quarries destroy diagonally. That seems insanely good. But so does grow ground where I can extend the island. But this is going to be good for a long time. I'm going to take this. Give me spike trap. Put this right here. What? Placement not allowed. Place with one bomb. Break a flag. I'm in. Yep. That's a no brainer. This path goes crazy too because it fits and it'll swing him this way, which is ideal. Because then we can make this entire line um, towers and hit both sides. <coughs> okay, Spike Trap is so good. Yeah, be, we gotta be careful where we quarry. Agreed. This flag. I mean, this isn't. This is nutty. This is just bonkers good. And then I put a flag right here and extend the whole island or a flag right here. It's it's actually probably not a flag right here because that's a high valued spot. It's probably flag right here to give me more looking and then put a tower here. Come on, chop them up. Nice. Chop them up. Nice. Here again. Flag can go here. Look how much value that gives me. Okay, start the next wave. Chop the big shield, boy. Holy moly. We need one more ice on the right. Wait, take relic, lose. Sell relic, gain two. A cursed relic? Don't we have to... Wait, I kind of want to take this.
increased oh increased damage of all towers by 0.25 percent dig site gain a copy of the tile that gets placed here wait that with flag would go stupid crazy good holy smokes all i have to do is get a flag with a water tile and put the water tile close to this one dude that's a that's a water spot and a half right there place this this next tile is going to be so good it'll rip it this way and then this is going to be a kill zone definitely need to start saving cash and we need ice towers Ballista Tower. Fires a volley of arrows. Targets all pads in the same row. Okay, that's going to be really good. This goes here. Oh, Spike Trap is so strong. Like, I'm actually blown away. I'm so impressed by it. I'm pretty sure Ballista, by the way, goes here to shoot down the lane. As well as this lane. Like, all the minions die, and then it's just the tanks that get through, but then they get eaten alive by multi-targeting here. Okay, so fires a volley of arrows. Targets all pads, same row. So it hits a 3x3 three three grid right in front. I mean, it has to go here, right? Or it can go here. Like this. There's just a lot of really like this is high value too. I'm only missing a little bit. If it goes here, is this even better? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It's the same. I think it's here. How about here? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. The north part. Six. It gets six right here. Why not bottom right? Like here, Echo? Or like here, but I can't place here because I don't have a tile to connect it. This would be good for the future, I bet. Right? Because we know the pathing is going to go this way. I mean, like on paper, this is the best because you get six, but that's just so, uh, you know, is it really going to kill anything here? The first one's what you're thinking? Like... Like this. I, I think it's bad value to put a Ballista Tower this far back in the lane. Whereas here, it can be doing a lot of damage to a lot more units. And then let the t arrows, the single targeting, pick it all off. One, two, three, four. Let's think. If this goes back up this way, is there any way to future-proof it? Really? Re one, two, three, four, five. This seems good. But this is as good, and it doesn't cost me a bomb, then. I think I'm more down for here, right, chat? Yeah, I know we could place the end of the lane. Put it two down from flag. You think here. It won't fit here. It, it can't go here. It can't be on a diagonal. No, I think it's this, guys. I, I think it's here for now. Make a kill zone. And then when we get a second ballista, we'll place it over here. Quarry? Oh my god, Quarry's gonna go insane to destroy some of these water tiles. And it'll break Vault, which gives me 8 gold next turn. Two down from left flag. So put it here. Ah, it's negligible. The Vault is gonna be insane for us. Oh, interesting. So it, like, softens everyone up. Ooh, this is super good. Okay, now we have our second opening. We're definitely quarrying. This guy's going to go here. It's going to break the vault for eight gold, giving me back a bunch of water tiles. And what is this? A workshop. Workshop, we've already gotten our value. We're, we're slamming this down. I got... 8, 9, 10, 11 gold there. Holy moly. You always soften me up, blush. 
Thank you, Dink. I don't know what to... I don't know what to make of that. Oh, uh, what a compliment, really. Could put this guy here for future proofing. Thanks, Dink. This path... This path... Dude, look at this run. Oh my god, it's gonna be perfect. We put... Uh... uh Towers on the inside lane. Garden. Place for one gold. Path here. This path is going to be nuts for this side. And then it goes back. Oh, it won't actually fit. Okay, start the next wave. Friendly reminder, you get 30 coins is when you get the max amount of bonus income. I actually do always forget about how income works in this, how interest works. So chat, you get an additional gold for every whole unit of 10 of, of gold you store. So at 30 gold, it's going to give me plus one more income. So we don't actually want to take it to zero every time. Oh. Oh, but. I mean, it would be better like this so I can put things on the inside lane or like this. This seems really good, too. It costs two bridges, though. Dude, I need flags. Oh. Like this. One bridge here. One bridge here, or... I think I just one bridge this, right? Yeah, that seems pretty good. Ice trap seems good, too. What do the flags do? Flags reveal more of the island. So, using flags, you can get, like, squares to place things on. You can see, like, how I'm at the very edge of my limit here. So, this path cannot get any longer. Meaning, those the enemies that spawn in are just going to bum rush me and destroy my defenses. I don't love that. Dude, tell me this ice trap doesn't belong right here. It gives me triple value. This seems insane. Ice trap near Ballista would be good too. Like here. Oh, ice trap right here is awesome. Two bombs though. No, I'll put it down here. Both amazing. Statue gained two bombs when fully surrounded, not including diagonals. Dude, statue right here. Close it off one more. Can you connect the two paths? No. So each path is its own independent like sp um, spawn point for enemies if you were to close the loop it would it would be like trying to close off this path which it doesn't allow you it must always remain open oh this is day 20 by the way wait what extend the aisle by one for every tile i place gain one gold i'm down to extend tile this time so every time i place something i get one square that's perfect. That's exactly what I need. Pay the believers. Do I beat wave 40? Which would be beating the level. Something I haven't done yet. Yeah, statue goes here. Sniper tower! A powerful long-range tower. Oh. I wonder if I put it here and it just goes down the whole lane. I guess we'll find out. Dude, this game deserves more more hype. A big streamer should play this game. This game really does deserve success. It's that good. Dude! Oh my god! Wait, this can probably hit both sides. It can. Holy pog. Okay, I wonder where it's going though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tiles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven tiles. 
Maiko, take care. Have a good one. Soda played this last year. Wow, it has to be here, right? Placing corner next to flag. Here. Thinking that I will eventually... If I place it here, then I'll eventually grow, right? I could place it here then. And then we get future proofing on this lane too. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 potential growth. Snake around it, right? If we put it here, I can snake around a little bit easier. Okay, I'm kind of into this. A little bit more pathing. I'll take maximum money here. Let's stay above 30 while we're strong. Okay, so you're targeting the highest health enemy. Chipping them down. They're not even getting past the spikes anymore. Ooh, half the water tiles or bombs? I'm down for bombs because I want to rebuild a lot. Goes like this. This path goes crazy. I could snake it. No, I can't. This path will snake this way, though. Yeah, yeah. Place like this. Snake on the inside. Flag. Oh my god, that's a perfect flag. Holy moly. Okay, start the next wave. We got quite a bit stronger. The sniper tower doesn't actually do that much damage. So he's targeting this big guy with the beard. He only did about half his health before he got out of range. That's surprisingly weak for a sniper. I want a 50 cal sniper. Big boy. Boulder tower? Launches a powerful boulder in a straight line. The boulder can only pass over pads and empty ground. My god. What? Put it here? Run it down that way. Oh my. This is crazy. This is actually crazy. Probably go here. Oh, yeah. Or is this... This is also good? I mean, this is really good, too? They only break at turns? You're telling me this boulder will just straight run it the whole way down here? No, wait. You know where I should put boulder? Here and extend it straight out. Because I have an inside lane here with three more tiles. And they'll be clustered as well. Okay. There it goes. It nearly destroyed them, and then the arch towers will just pick them off. Have I ever fired a 50 cal? No, I've never. There's a place you can shoot a 50 cal in Vancouver, but they charge, I think it's $50 a shot. It is, tw it's, it, I think it's, I think it's actually a little less than that. I think it's $20 a, shot, a bullet, and you have to rent the gun, which is like 100 bucks. So, I mean, I don't imagine you're, you're, you're shooting that many. It'd probably beat your arm up way before. Like, I shot 760, 7.62, and that kicked my ass. No, it, it cannot be this guy. Nope. Skip. Statue. Gain two bombs when fully surrounded. There's a statue right here. Place. Two bombs for free. Seven bombs now. Pointy flag. Holy... I want this guy. I want this guy bad. Where am I willing to put him, though? Probably here. Just give me a little bit more space. Ooh, a high ground. Increases the range of towers. An ice trap. Okay, so how is it not just like ice trap? Right here. Now the value is just incredible. Quarry next. Quarry to destroy some of these water tiles, I think. Start the next wave. So not worth the money, Echo. 
Oh, I sorry, I wasn't paying for 762. That was free. But yeah, it's really expensive to shoot guns here in Canada because the licensing is really hard to get for the business. So there's only one public gun range that I can, sorry, one gun range where like any Joe Schmo can just buy like the admission to go shoot guns. Aren't we taking straight path here for two bucks? Yeah. Straight path, open up this one and then this one, and then we're going to start the snake. Holy, this is going to be amazing. Wait, I actually needs to go one further out. So it's def okay. So buy materials then. Buy a flag maybe like this. Yeah. And then buy this and then here. Yeah. Okay. Seven, six, two. Yeah, I have no idea what it's called. I am I am, I don't I I know nothing about guns and I don't try to know anything about guns. I think it would be cool if I knew a little bit more, but realistically, my ability to use that knowledge would be very very minuscule in my life, unfortunately. <laughs> my friends don't shoot. Um <laughs> they have no desire to, so I'd just be impressing no one. <laughs> Wasted quarry. Oh, shit. I did waste Cory. Dart tower. Okay, tell me more about this dart tower again. Launches three darts that take time to recharge. So this is a good cleanup tool. I'm seeing, I'm seeing it right here. Clean up everyone that the boulder doesn't kill. Or I'm seeing it right here. Shoot down. I like the, in this lane better even. I mean, what about here? No? Oh my god, right here. Hits all four lanes. I'd be able to impress Americans? I can already impress Americans so easily. Um, you know, I could say something like, anyone here like the 4th of July? Oh, dude, I love the 4th of July. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how about truck nuts? Oh my god. Yeah, man. I love truck nuts. First lane needs help. This lane? What? Oh, this is crazy. I extend it out. Look at that pathing. Wrap it back around. Or, actually, that's pretty good. That's, that's really good value for Boulder. For one bridge. Seems good. I'll take this path. Nice. That gives my sniper a little bit more range. Flag. I'll just start this next wave. Dude, imagine a boulder right here sending it down this way. It'd be so good. Spike Trap's got to go a little harder. He's kind of letting it down now. I bet a fast tank here, like, I mean, that's a bit of a conundrum, but 